What's going on, hybrid shooters? It's Jason Vong, and I'm just gonna be straight up. This is an ad, and ads are a great way to fund the channel so we can do bigger and better things like providing higher quality sample photos and footage whenever we do gear reviews and recommendation videos. But this is something that I've used in the last couple of months, and since I had such a positive experience with it, I agreed to feature it on this channel, and that is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. How I would describe this is a low profile, high utility tripod that you don't think you need, but it's incredibly nice to have. Have. For example, this coach shoe mount right here, I have to admit, it's pretty genius because you can attach additional accessories if needed, but let's be real here, I think most folks would just mount a mic here anyways. Now for me personally, I love using the Sony RX100 Mark 7 for all of my casual, easy shoot days. It is a small, low profile camera with an incredible zoom range, 24 to 200 millimeters. If you've been following the channel for a while now, you know I talk about this camera way too much just because of its zooming capabilities. I honestly like this more than the ZV-1. Now, if I want to vlog with it, there is a mic port, but unfortunately, unlike the ZV-1, there's no place to place a mic on the RX100 Mark 7 itself. And before, I would use a cage if I want to vlog with the RX100 Mark 7 with a mic on, but the Mantis Pod just makes it so much more convenient. It's just one less thing to bring with me because I'm already bringing some type of tabletop tripod anyways, and this just eliminates the need for me to bring a cage. And honestly, I think this is their biggest selling point, not only for this style of camera, but also the Sony a6100, 6400, and the 6600 because they have this very similar style flip up screen, but they do have a spot to mount the mic. Unfortunately, it's right in the middle, so it will block the screen. In the past, I have recommended this Kochu relocator that shifts the mic right off to the side, and I still do recommend it. However, again, the Mantis Pod not only doubles, but triples as a tripod, a cage, and a Kochu relocator all in one bundle. But here comes the genius aspect to all of this. This coach shoe mount right here is rotatable. So for instance, you wanna show your viewers something, right? You have the mic and the lens pointed at you while you're talking. Then when you flip it over, you can twist this, adjust it, and it can still capture your audio while you're showing your viewers something. Pretty nifty. And recently, PGY Tech just launched their action cam plate, which is designed to fit onto the Mantis Pod. So if you're using something like a GoPro or a DJI Osmo, same concept, it has a mic port, but not necessarily a spot to mount the mic. This coach shoe mount right here comes in pretty clutch. Next up, extended mode. So if you're like most people who don't find 24 millimeter wide enough for vlogging, the extended mode gives you the extra edge. Now the ball head right here can be twist off and mounted onto the main leg right here. And there are two modes of security. The dovetail right here has a button that you can press down to slide the ball head attachment off and the ball head itself has a twist mechanism that secures it in its spot. And the main leg right here has a raised insert that you need to push down first before you can release the ball head. Obviously, this is a mini tripod, so you can use it as a standard tripod, but there are a couple of convenient buttons and knobs that allows you to finesse with your shots a lot easier. For example, this giant button right here allows you to control the tilt of your camera, so you can easily adjust the position when you are shooting. And this button on the side of the leg right here allows you to just widen the stance so you can get an even lower angle or just get more stability when you are using a heavier camera. Now, come to think of it, I don't think there's a lot of mini tripods that can go this wide for low stability mode, at least not the ones that I've used in the past. Gorilla pods maybe, but the legs can get pretty flimsy over time. And while the Mantis pod can support something like a 24 to 70 f2.8 or a 16 to 35 f2.8, I will always recommend a much lighter setup just because when you go into handheld mode pretty often, it just causes less strain on your arm, especially when you're out all day. For example, at Disneyland, it was a joy to carry around the brand new Sony ZV-E 10 with the 10 to 18 on the Mantis pod. Everything about this setup right here is incredibly manageable for an all day carry. And this is a setup that I highly recommend for APS-C shooters. Well, mainly the lens because it's so light and wide and it works great on full frame cameras. Now, because this tripod is incredibly light, people might think this is a plastic build, but it's actually made out of magnesium, which is a material that keeps it light, but very sturdy at the same time. On top of that, it has a slim form factor that makes it easy to slot onto the side of a backpack or fit inside of a small pouch. And that's another big thing I like about this tripod. It just doesn't take up too much space. So there are two versions of the Mantis Pod. There's the Pro version right here or the standard version right here. And I hate to upsell this, but the Pro version is obviously better just because of the ball head attachment and it uses the Arca Swiss style quick release system. Now with the ball head, obviously it gives you a much more finer control when it comes to angling your camera. And the standard version, <laughs> 
yeah, it's just standard. Can't really do much with it. So if you are planning on shooting vertical style videos like for TikTok, for Instagram stories, lives, or whatever, it's gonna be the ball head attachment that's gonna allow you to do that. But the quick release system is always nice to have because it's gonna allow you to mount it onto the mantis spot on and off really quickly. And the fact that it uses the same arc and Swiss design, I can actually mount this onto my Peak Design everyday tripod as well without having to switch plates back and forth. Now, one thing they do differently with their plate is using what they call a thrust needle roller bearing, which prevents the plate from getting easily undone. PGY Tech calls this their snap lock system. For example, I'm untwisting the camera right now and it's not coming off. It remains attached to the Mantis pot with no play. Whereas something like a Manfrotto RC2 plate, once it actually comes undone, which has happened to me before, you would have to remove it from the quick release system and retighten the plate again. And hidden right behind the main leg right here is a phone mount, and I thought this was a nice touch. The first time I've ever seen something like this was from the Peak Design Travel Tripod. They have a phone mount hidden right on the bottom of the tripod, and I'm so glad that PGY Tech embraced this as well, because let's face it, our phones are just as important photography and videography tool in this modern day content creation world. If we want to stream something or capture something to share on social media really quick, it's just nice to have that phone mount tucked behind the leg so you forget about it, but when you do need it for those oh crap moments, you're like, oh no, my camera died, or I just I just need to stream this really quickly, you remember, oh yeah, I have a phone mount. Happened to me a few times when I was using the Peak Design Travel tripod, so I can't wait for it to happen to me when I'm using the Mantis Pod. Scratch that, probably don't want it to happen, but when it does, it'll be an epic victory moment. Now, pretty much the reason why this is called a Mantis Pod is because it has a mode where it looks like a praying mantis. Now this is pretty unique, not something that I've used quite often yet, but it is really nice to have. You can't use it in standard tripod mode, but there's something that you can hang it off of. It can help with creating some pretty interesting perspective. Now I would say do use it at your own risk. Make sure everything is secure and stable first before you walk away. There is a nice little tethered string right here that you can tie it around something if you are hanging off something dangerous. But again, just check that stability before you walk away first. Vivian and I will be resuming our travels in September, which is just in a few short weeks or in a few short days, depending when this video comes out. And this one right here will definitely come with us wherever we go. So follow us on Instagram to see where we're going and what we're up to. But if you prefer longer videos like this, definitely stay subscribed. If you guys watched the entire way through just to support the channel, I love you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.